¿Qué preocupa al Congreso de Estados Unidos sobre China? At a strategic level, we believe that the PRC's actions in the developing world and in the developed world reflect a broader strategic goal of creating a world more safe for autocracies like the Chinese Communist Party. La preocupación es la visión de China de promover y reforzar modelos autoritarios. In El Salvador, for example, in exchange, China is building a strategic hub in the region long allied with the United States. ¿De qué manera las operaciones de China debilitan las instituciones y afectan negativamente un entorno de transparencia y rendición de cuentas? The PRC approach to infrastructure lending has resulted in opacity that may foster corruption, infrastructure projects financed by the Export-Import Bank of China are awarded to Chinese companies as part of the terms and conditions of the contract, rather than being subject to open tenders. ¿De qué hablamos cuando se plantea que el enfoque chino prescinde de la democracia por un modelo con más posibilidades de éxito económico? But the reality is that PRC economic investment and its model is not always all it promises to be, and the corruption inherent in the systems means that it isn't actually delivering for people in the way it is promised. Clear myths that need to be dispelled about the realities of the PRC economic model of governance. They also come at a very clear cost to transparency, accountability, good governance, and human rights. ¿Cuáles son las diferencias más notables entre China y Occidente al momento de hacer negocios? While Western economic engagement is certainly not immune to corruption or to benefiting political and economic elite, countries like the U.S. have strict standards for ensuring that economic assistance and trade engagement is transparent and not facilitating corruption or elite capture. Mechanisms such as the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act or, or the Magnitsky sanctions are key safeguards that just don't exist in China. ¿Por qué debería preocupar que Nicaragua y Honduras rompieran relaciones con Taiwán y las iniciaran con China? IRA's research has consistently shown that increased economic engagement, uh, one of the main promises to countries switching diplomatic recognition from Taiwan to the PRC. Beijing knows that robust trade relationships are a shortcut to creating powerful, sustainable pro-PRC lobbying blocks because of the influence businesses have on pol politics and foreign policy. La creciente influencia china es una señal de debilidad de la política exterior de Estados Unidos hacia América Latina. I think the U.S. needs to take a look at its at its toolkit uh, with regard to engagement across the region and adjust it accordingly to the needs of the time, which means a real focus on on economic issues, on anti-corruption and transparency, on the environment, on things that are most important. To people and in which China's narrative uh, is gaining ground, but I do think there is a there still remains an opportunity given um, the strong connections between um, the United States and the region.